Hi friends, welcome back. Here is the next question on static timing analysis. And this question is very important from interview perspective, both front-end interviews and back-end interview. And this question has been asked in many interviews. So the question is, how can you fix the setup violations or how the setup time violations can be mitigated? So friends, to address these questions, let's consider a register to register timing path and its setup timing equation. So if we have our register to register timing path, let's consider this is flip flop one, this is flip flop two, and we have this clock signal here. And if you remember the setup timing equation of this flip flop is suppose the SS time period T and the uh, and the setup and hold time of flip flop are T setup and T hold and we have clock to Q delay tcq and we have t combination the delay okay so the setup equation of this register to register timing path is nothing but t minus t setup should be greater than t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay So this is the conditions t minus t setup time of the capture flip flop should be greater than t clock to q delay of launch flip flop plus t combinational delay so in order to satisfy this equation what all we can do so let's go through the options which which are given to us one by one so first option is speeding up the clock Speeding up the clock means the frequency of the increase the frequency of the clock. So if we increase the frequency of the clock, our time period will decrease. Correct. So if we decrease the time period, if our time period decreases, then this trump, this whole trump basically becomes it, it decreases. The whole trump basically decreases. So if this trump decreases, and first let's understand when the setup violation will happen the setup violation will happen when this term basically becomes less than this term t minus t setup if t minus t setup becomes less than t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay in that particular case our setup uh, equation is basically getting failed and in that particular case we will have the setup violation so in that case when we have the setup violation and if we decrease our time period that means we are more going into the negative direction our t minus t setup is more decreasing if it more decrease then this equations will never be going to be satisfied so by speeding up the clock or by decreasing the time period we cannot mitigate the setup violation so that means our option a is wrong now let's see option number b option number b says speeding up data and clock so speeding up the clock is nothing but whatever we have discussed in option a so speeding up the clock is not going to uh, help speeding up the data what happens when we speed up the data speed up the data means the data travel or the data propagation is nothing but t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay so if this speeding up the delay means if we decrease this delay if we decrease this delay that means this whole term will decrease and if this whole term will decrease that means there is a possibility that our t minus t setup can be more than t clock to q plus t combinational delay that means speeding up the data will help but if with, with along with that if we speed up our clock as well then that is not going to help or that is not going to help to mitigate the setup time violation. So our option B is also and if you see here it is AND operation. So this is also not correct. Speeding up data will definitely help to mitigate the setup time violation but speeding up clock is not going to help. So if you say option B is actually partially correct. Now let's see option number C. Option number C is increasing the data delay. If the data delay if we increase this is opposite to speeding of the data. 
So if we increase the data delay, if we increase this data delay, then this, this whole term is going to increase. If this whole term is going to increase, that means our T minus T setup, this term should be more than this term. But if this term increases, if there is already a set of violation and if we increase this term, then this is not going to help. It is going to be more negative. Correct. So, our option C is also not correct. Now, option D is speeding up the data or increase the clock period. So, if we speed up the data, if we speed up the data, that means our this term is basically decreasing. The data delay is decreasing. If this term is decreasing, that means there is a chance of satisfying this equation. If this decreases, if this decreases, that then there might be a case that T minus T setup will become more than this term. That means this is correct. Or increasing the clock period. If we increase the clock period, if we increase the clock period also, then this term will basically increase. If this term will increase, then also our conditions, which is this term should be more than this one, is going to be satisfied. That means which is the correct option? The correct option is T. So to fix the setup violation, what we can do is we can speed up the data or basically we can decrease the data delay. Data delay is nothing but the T clock to Q delay plus T combinational delay. So either we can decrease this data delay or we can increase our clock period. So these are the two ways to fix the setup violations. Friends, if you want to understand in a different way, let me try to make you understand in a different way. So if we consider the register to register timing path, let's assume this is our clock. And we do not have any clock skew and all. So our both loans and capture clock will look like same. So friends, if the data is launched as this clock is, it is supposed to get captured at this clock is if we consider both the flip-flops as rising is flip-flops. So what we discussed, we discussed that when this data is launched at this point, this data should reach T setup time before this clock is. So the data should reach at least by this time. So this can be our maximum arrival time. So this is our arrival time and this time is nothing but T clock to Q delay plus T combinational delay. And what is the required time? Required time is nothing but this T, this is the required time T minus T setup. So friends, the condition here is our the data arrival should happen before this clock age. So if we increase this term t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay if we are going to increase this that means it is going to move towards the right side that means it will it will it will go into the setup window this is our setup window so it might cross our setup window that means we cannot decrease this arrival time this arrival times maximum it can be equal to time period t clock minus t setup of the capture flip flop. So either we can decrease if there is a set of violations we have to decrease this arrival time. That means we have to decrease the t clock to q delay plus t combinational delay. We somehow have to decrease this term. What is the other way? If if we shift this clock from here, if we shift the capture clock from here to right side suppose here if we shift this clock from here to here that means now our this capture path capture path delay is basically going to increase so now if the arrival time is even exceeding this path it is okay till this clock is minus t setup if that is the point of the new t uh, clock period minus cut t setup then we can have our arrival time till this point so these are the two ways by which we can have our setup time violation mitigated 
So the two points are either you speed up the data path or you increase the clock period. So hope this problem is clear. If you have any doubts, please write down in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified as soon as I upload the next video. Thank you very much.